Welcome back here tonight here at 5 o'clock. What really happened to then 10-year-old Xavier Harrelson near Montezuma? That question remains unanswered despite now three years since the then 10-year-old was last seen and his body then found about four months later. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation tells us this case is not cold and is actively being investigated. KWWL Television senior producer Meg Swanson walks us through this case. Friends reported Xavier missing on May 27, 2021. He was last seen at his mother's mobile home in Montezuma. The night before, neighbors say they heard shouting and in hindsight wonder what significance that held. There was a huge fight about 8 p.m. between Xavier and his mom and there was shouting back and forth. Couldn't really tell what it was about, but it was really heated and it went on for about 20 minutes. Authorities, as well as the community, immediately took action, organizing search parties made up of more than 500 volunteers and members of law enforcement. Investigators searched nearby homes, fields, and surrounding lakes and woods, using search dogs, ATVs, and divers. We're exhausting those investigative leads, but we're also um, expanding our search perimeter in and around the Montezuma area. 72 hours after his disappearance marked Xavier's 11th birthday on May 30th. Sadly, he would not spend it at home with friends or family. Still, the community of Montezuma continued to hold on to hope, particularly the woman who reported Xavier missing initially. She put together a vigil in his honor, wanting people to know who Xavier was. It's like he's mine. It's like a part of me is missing right now, you know, and my heart hurts every moment until he comes home. Orange ribbons, one of Xavier's favorite colors, were wrapped around telephone poles and light posts throughout town. But friends and neighbors grew frustrated with Xavier's family, who had yet to speak openly about his disappearance. The other thing I can't wrap my head around is why hasn't anybody in the family gone on here? You know, like, and so that's why I'm, I'm in Xavier's voice and that's how I feel and that's why I keep doing this, is because somebody has to speak for him. Xavier's mother, Sarah, remained quiet for two months only speaking publicly for the first time at the Iowa State Fair that August. She joined a group of volunteers sharing pictures of Xavier with the public. We love you. We're not going to stop looking for you. We're going to find you. Oh yeah, he's coming home. He's going to meet all these officers and everybody who's been looking for him and putting up his flyers. Despite extensive efforts, the case went cold for several months until a heartbreaking discovery that fall. We are not saying that it is Xavier Harrelson at this time. There's a lot of work yet to be done. Four months after his disappearance, a farmer doing field work found human remains and called law enforcement at the end of September. The area, only about three miles from Xavier's home. The state medical examiner's office later confirming the remains belonged to Xavier Harrelson. Xavier was laid to rest in November of 2021. Authorities have shared little publicly about the case or their investigation, never releasing a cause, manner, or time of death. Meg Swanson, New 7, KWWL.